How do you actually learn how to shift brain activation? The first strategy that I, that I want to be sharing with you is the strategy of how do you shift brain activation from the survival brain to activating actually the PQ region of your brain? What do you think is the traditional way of activating the PQ region of your brain? There's an ancient traditional way of doing that. What do you think it is? It's, it's meditation. Yes, absolutely. It's meditation. And there are a couple of, and meditation works if you're able to do it consistently. And there are two challenges with meditation. One challenge with meditation is that most people who start meditating cannot continue meditating. The, 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 the track record is dismal of the percentage of people who start meditation who actually are able to sustain meditation. So that's one problem. Most people can't sustain become, being meditators. The second problem is even a bigger problem, which is most meditators learn how to shift their brain activation when they are meditating. So in the morning, in the privacy of a room, closing their eyes, doing a mantra, whatever they do in meditation, totally shift brain activation. Problem is, if you want to be Jedi in the arena of life, you need to learn how to activate that brain in the middle of war, in the middle of challenges, in the middle of crises. And most meditators don't learn how do, how do I actually activate that brain when I really need it. So what we ended up uh, creating, uh, looking at functional MRI studies, is it's a, it's a different way of activating that, that part of the brain, which we call PQ rep. Consider PQ rep to be like a dumbbell rep to activate the muscles of your, the PQ region of your brain. So basically, the way you activate the PQ region of your brain is through these 10 second exercises that we call a PQ rep. There are many, many different ways to do it, but I want to show you one way to do it. And this is where the index finger comes in. Remember I told you the index finger? So one way to activate that awesome part of your brain, if for, so the, for the next 10 seconds, please do this with me. So uh, take your index finger and rub it uh, gently against uh, your thumb. And with so much attention that you can actually feel the fingertip ridges on both fingers. Now, if you really are doing this with so much attention that you can feel the fingertip ridges on both fingers, and if you do this for, for 10 seconds, then what, if we had your uh, brain under functional MRI, we would notice that the PQ region of your brain just got ever so slightly activated, and the survival part of your brain got ever so slightly quieter. Now, there are literally hundreds of different ways to do PQ reps. Uh, lots of other ways in the book. I just showed you one. And uh, one of the, and basically, there's one other part of the research about how many of these reps you need to do so that you build up and maintain muscles in the PQ region rather than allow them to atrophy. And the number is 36. If you sit down and do a lot of PQ reps, 36 reps comes in about 12 minutes or so on average for, a general, for an average person. So, but as I just showed you, you can do PQ reps with your eyes open in the middle of meetings while uh, you know, taking a dog out for a walk, while taking a shower, while eating. You can do PQ reps anytime.